Hello, this LP3 training video is for Daily Mail. A couple of ways you can solicit and collect loan customers would be to give them a call. Another way is to actually send them mail for solicitations and for collections. And you do that at the end of the day after closing, come into Mail and Daily Letters. Daily Letters allows solicitations over here, solicitation section, and then a collections section here. It allows you to do an ad at the top of your solicitations. And uh, we'll go over these settings in a little more detail. Today is September 15th. Let's say instead of 2.45 p.m., it's at the end of the day, 6, 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. at night, you finish your closeout. You've taken all the payments you're going to for the day. Uh, Everything is complete in the software. So you're going to go ahead and run your letters for tomorrow, which will be the 16th. And you want to run your letters for tomorrow because that's the day the letters are going to go in the mail. Your settings right now for your, for your letters, prepay notice. Let's take a look. You can cl click on the question mark if you... Uh, need to know a little more information about each of the items. Send a prepayment solicitation this many days before payment due date. So you're going to send out a solicitation for somebody to come in and get um, more money before their due date, 10 days. You can do, no, I don't want to send any out. You can do one day, two day. Right now it's at 10 days before their payment's due. You want to solicit them to come in. You have prepay notice includes in our, let's take a look at that, includes non-renewable account in prepayment notice. So do you want a non-renewable accounts in your daily mail? You could say yes or no. Go ahead and have that on yes. Post payment solicit. So people made a payment already, uh, send a solicitation this many days after the payment has been made. So right now, if somebody made a payment five days ago, we're going to go ahead and solicit them again and come in and get more money. Uh, you can have that, of course, also to no, one through 31 days. We'll have it at five days. Paid out solicit. Send a solicitation this many days after an account has been paid out. So somebody came and paid off their account. It's seven days later. Today's, uh, the mail I'm running for tomorrow's date, 16, mean that it's been seven days since one of these customers paid out, they'll be included in the daily mail. So that is uh, solicitation options here. We have collection options here. So first notice. So if somebody is uh, one day past due, you can print out mail for them. This would be their first notice. So tomorrow, if they're past due one day, which means if they don't come in to pay today, uh, notice will be generated with the Daily Mail. You can print the past due amount on um, the collection. Print past due amount on notice with renewal offer. Non-renewal letters always printed past due amount. And uh, days set a promise. So this means that if you generate mail uh, days from due date, keep the account out of collection. So if you want to generate a letter for them but you do not want to have it in the call collections you can say yes here so it won't be in your call collections uh, for the a couple of days it would take for the letter to get out to somebody I'll go ahead and set that to no we have a first notice at one day we have a second notice at six and you can change these you can change it to no you can change it to one through 31 so you normally have the first second third fourth fifth notice all happen within the first 30 days. First at one, second at six, third at 18. This is just a, an example. And these will have the past due amount printed on the first and second notice. Update notices. Send a notice the status of severely de delinquent account. So if it's over 30 days and these first, second, third, fourth, fifth notice, they do get a little bit more um, important a little more focus on the people paying but if it's past 30 days the update notice is uh, it gets a little harder on them the wording used NCA renewal solicits 
send out a solicitation if the account is eligible for a no cash advance renewal. So if they can't get cash back, you want to send out a, the renewal. Uh, this is yes or no. We have it on yes right now. Spanish. Let's take a look at the question mark there. Include Spanish translation and letters. Uh, if you want to have Spanish sent out to Spanish-speaking customers that are labeled so uh, in the customer record, you can say yes uh, to this, and it will print out Spanish um, in addition to the, the, the letters that are generated. Privacy notices. If you need to generate privacy notices for the customers, uh, you, you can select yes or no here. Well, actually, you can't select yes or no here. Uh, this is one of the items. Uh, here with the asterisk, if you look down below, editable and config and miscellaneous info. So you would actually go up to config and then miscellaneous info. And we have here um, privacy print and daily letter, and you can choose whether or not you want it to print in daily letter. So this is one of the items configurable in the config section. The next three items here, renew over 100, minimum cash back amount, minimum payments made, all um, settings that you define up inside config, and loan information and renewal options. So config, loan information, and renewal options. The section here is where you would configure that as to it being a minimal cashback amount um, after 60 days only on the letters going out. So let me go ahead and exit there. Go back into the settings. So these, again, are up in the configuration section and it tells you here where they are. You'll see when the last time you sent mail was, so the last time you ran your mail. Uh, do you want to do any custom birthday letters? Uh, send out solicitations for customer's birthday, spouse's birthday letters, or paid out. So let's take a look at the paid out. Send a paid out birthday solicitation up to this number of days after a paid out. So if somebody came in a paid out 5, 10, 15 days ago and you want to send them a birthday letter, you can include this too if it happens to be their birthday. Cutoff age. Let's take a look at the cutoff age. Delinquency status uh, when uh, to reduce high credit to zero. So what this means is if you have a customer's account and say they have $1,000 available, if you put this, if the customer is two months past due or three months past due or four months past due, depending on whichever setting you put in here, the customer will, with high credit, which is the amount they can borrow, will be taken down to zero. So then if uh, somebody's doing collection activity on the account, they're not gonna make them a new loan. Um, running your daily letters, like for tomorrow, if anybody is, say, two months past due, I don't wanna give them any money back so I'm going to go ahead and select people that are two months past due to cut off and then it will set their high credit to zero, their amount they could borrow down to zero. Go ahead and leave it like that. Um, the daily letters, you have an option to add a little add to the top of your uh, solicitation. For instance, if it's Mother's Day or some other holiday, Mother's Day is here, come to Loans Plus uh, for Mother's Day cash. This will print out a little added touch for your location on the solicitations for the day. When it comes to running the daily letters at the end of the day and closing, the options you have are run mail, which will run the daily letters. It'll generate the um, letter report. It will generate the privacy notices and it will generate the letters. You can run mail with printing labels. So not only will it generate those uh, letters and privacy notices, and um, it will also generate the uh, labels for you to put on the outside of uh, mail outs. Or you can do the count only, which will just give you the total uh, report of how many letters for generation. If you would like to change the ad that's available here in your daily letters, if you would like to edit one of the ads, you can go up to mail and then add library the ad library will allow you to select the specific ad and the text and give it a special name you can edit it you can create new ones and add that into your daily letters 
So at this point, we're going to go ahead and run the daily mail for tomorrow, which is 9-16-20. Click on Run Mail. This may take a few minutes, depending on how many letters for solicitation and for collection that need to be generated within the system. The uh, first page that opens whenever this is finished is your report. Your report of what types of solicitation and collections were generated and how many. complete. This is done or should be done after you close every day if you want to send out solicitations and collections to your customers. So this is the daily letter report that's generated. There's four pages here. At the top of the report you're going to see how many first notices, second notices, 14 on the first, 33 on the second notice, the third notice, there's going to be four. The fourth notice, five. There's no fifth notices. Uh, updates, there's going to be three. No privacy letters were generated. Uh, prepays, there's going to be 20. Paid outs, none. Post payment, birthday, zero. The total letters, the total of all of the uh, different letters uh, combined is 79. And we have 59 people in cutoff. So by choosing this cutoff age of two, we have 59 people with their name and account number that have had their high credit go to zero. And then it also will show you this in the list because you may want to go in there and edit some of those and give their amounts back. You may want to specifically uh, do some uh, different types of collections on these customers uh, before you give them options again to renew their loan. So let's go ahead and go down and it uh, after we get past the uh, cutoff people which had their high credit taken down to zero and have some totals here for um, the amount of outstanding and how many accounts are in a current status one month, two month, three month, four month. Give you information about that and this is uh, alphabetically um, A through D, E through J, K through R, S through Z, and then uh, all files combined, so everybody. And if we keep coming down here, it's just give you more information about uh, those particular people, uh, where everybody falls as far as number of accounts and outstanding. So that is the daily letter report. It's the first thing that opens whenever the Daily Mail is finished running. And it will show you that today's date is 9 15 20. And that you are running letters for 9 16 20, which is tomorrow. The, uh, if there were any privacy notices, the privacy notices would be available to uh, click on the PDF link and then you can print the privacy notices. That daily letter report is right here, this link here for view and download, which it automatically pops up. Let's go ahead and look at the daily letters that were generated. So we go ahead and click on the link for daily letters. There's 79 different pages here, which um, will include these 79 letters that were generated during daily mail for the day. And then it will include all these various letters. Let's take a look at a few of them. We have uh, right here, this particular letter is a second notice, and the it's Anderson and their address, and they had a loan for $1,100, a term of 12 months. This is their second notice, and right now we have uh, the second notice to be six days after their payment is past due. So again. Uh, it will say on, on this particular second notice, your account is past due, $116. It 
$0.62. Cents. You can receive $866.55 by refinancing your account now. This offer may change after 9 2020. So this is an example of a second notice. Let's just kind of come on down through here. We have a first notice on Attaway, and they had a loan of $1,300 at 12 months. Their account number is 5298. Your account is passed to $158.96. You can receive $974.88 by refinancing. This is an example of a first notice. And then you can keep coming down. Just going to go over a couple more of these. You can uh, take the account number and you can go back into the software and go under search account and put in the account number to look up any of the customer's accounts if you want to reference uh, why they were generated a letter and you want to reference the amounts on the letter to the customer account to, to be familiar with that. So first notice. And then we have a fourth notice here. It's a little little more uh, serious about the wording as it goes from first, second, third, fourth notice and so forth. Uh, past due amount, $98. Your account standing is one of our most valuable assets. Uh, again, these letters just get a little bit more and a little bit more serious as, as uh, the customer becomes more and more past due. So fourth notice. And then as you keep coming down through here, second notice, you'll continue to come down. You'll print these off and they'll all go in the mail. Uh, but you can just come down through here and reference these. Um, you have a P here, which is uh, save your payment. So this is a, a solicitation, and this is a solicitation for somebody who is, uh, according to what we said, uh, 10 days before their due payment date. And save your payment due, 92620, and receive $674. And here's an example of that ad that little extra touch put in on the solicitation. Mother's Day's here, come to Loans Plus, and you can have anything there to add your little extra touch to the solicitations, depending on what time of the year it is. So that's a P, and account number 7287. Letters are run on the 16th, so this is 10 days uh, from when the payment was due by this customer. So second notice, another second notice, first notice and you'll just keep on going down through until you actually will go through 14 first notices uh, second notice 33 third notice four prepays and uh, the 79 letters that were generated in the daily letters for the day and if you want to see how uh, for instance it took an account down to a zero high credit let's take a look at this Demetrius eight six four six so let's go ahead and say okay here and let's go over to search account eight six four six search and right now you'll notice that the high credit and term is set to zero it automatically did that because we had them on cutoff uh, you have to have permissions to change this uh, but if you wanted to change it and give them their um, high credit back, you would do edit, loan details, and I would go ahead and let me take a look and see. They had a $900 amount at 12 months finance, so put them back at what they were. It would be $1,200 and high credit term of nine months. And then an account has been saved. I got them back to their high credit in turn, which means that they could be refinanced or uh, continue on uh, with uh, making some further changes other than just making a payment to their loan. So that is, let me exit out of here, that is the daily mail, and uh, daily letters, and it's very important that after you close out each day, you send out your uh, solicitations and your collections and uh, help grow your business. Thank you very much.